You don't need an ancient prophet to tell you that the world in 2024 can be a pretty scary place, but like clockwork, this guy pops up every year to tell us, I told you so. You know, Quasimodo predicted all this. Who did what? And now, from beyond the grave once more, Nostradamus is talking World War III. The French astrologer, poet, and physician was born more than half a millennium ago and became a famous figure of the Renaissance. Today, his name is most associated with his soothsaying, his uncanny ability seemingly to predict future events. Nostradamus's predictions came mainly in the form of verses published in a book which first appeared in 1555. Those who believe in the power of his foresight believe Nostradamus, who died in 1566, foresaw the French Revolution, the rise and fall of Adolf Hitler, the assassination of President John F. Kennedy, as well as more recent historical developments such as the death of Queen Elizabeth II. The verses in question are cryptic and open to interpretation, and critics argue that it is possible to attach Nostradamus' lines to one of several historical events and say he predicted them. Nevertheless, each year, countless platforms, including legacy media like London's Evening Standard, treat their readers to a glimpse of what the seer prophesied for the year ahead, and in 2024, it makes for grim reading. According to believers, Nostradamus' famous verses, which they say correctly predicted World War II, foretold that World War III is due to begin 79 years after the previous conflict ended. If he's right, that means the conflict will begin in 2024. What concerns many who are sympathetic to Nostradamus as a supposed soothsayer is that 2024 has indeed begun with humanity facing several large-scale conflicts and in a presidential election year to boot. Trump or Biden? Are you kidding? <laughs> Get over yourself. Those are the two choices. Yeah, yeah. love that. Right? The conflict in Ukraine, for example, became a full-scale war in February 2022 after Russia poured troops over the border into contested Ukrainian territory. Since then, the Ukrainian fight back has been funded by the Western military bloc NATO, the nations of which have supplied the embattled country with weapons. Meanwhile, tensions have risen in Asia, where China, an economic superpower, has increasingly given demonstrations of its military might and willingness to expand through the region, especially into the neighboring island nation of Taiwan. Nostradamus clearly suggests that the Middle East will play a central role in the trouble to come. The reignited Israel-Gaza conflict, which has transfixed the world's media since the fall of 2023, is also leading to greater divisions on the world stage. My hope is by next Monday, we'll have a ceasefire. Experts warn it is arguable that each of these is at risk of escalating to involve more widespread conflict that in the worst case scenario could see the world's military superpowers facing off against each other in a new world war, potentially fought with the devastating power of nuclear weapons. If that were to happen, it would have a catastrophic effect on civilization unlike anything humanity has experienced before. Worryingly, talk of this escalation of war isn't just reserved for online chatter among gossip websites and astrology enthusiasts. Politicians and pundits focusing on international relations are increasingly chiming alarm bells concerning the risk of military aggression across the globe. In a March 2024 speech, Polish Prime Minister Donald Tusk described how he considered Europe to be entering a pre-war period, noting that Polish airspace had recently been violated by a Russian missile. I don't want to scare anyone, but war is no longer a concept from the past. It's real and it started over two years ago. Tusk also implored other European countries to increase their military spending. His comments undermined those of Russian President Vladimir Putin, who claimed his country has no plans to attack any members of NATO, of which most Western European countries are members. British Foreign Secretary and former Prime Minister David Cameron has made similar warnings concerning Chinese aggression and urged the progression of cooperation between the US, UK, and Australia to enhance global security. The lights on the global dashboard are flashing red, and so it is a much more dangerous, difficult, uncertain world. Similarly, Al Jazeera has reported that the Israel-Gaza conflict represents a spillover risk to other Middle Eastern territories. Only time will tell, though, if Nostradamus' ancient writings will be an accurate predictor of 2024 events, or just a case of a long-dead poet really good at telling the world what it already knows.